something about it, but you won't have any ice. Now, we had the same problem with the oh, family price show back in the first year. Did I tell you about the time? I don't care what you do, just get rid of the noise. Jay, unplug the blasted thing until they're through. You want me to unplug the generator? That's what he said. OK, fine, it's your show. I want to see everybody back here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. This thing till we get it right. You've got to be kidding. You have got some nerve asking us to come back here at the crack of dawn when you haven't even paid us for two months. Yeah. Yeah. Eight o'clock sharp. You've gone too far. Who do you think you are? Yeah! Who do you think you are? Yes, I've gone too far. I'm your vector, the eminent director. Without me to guide you, the audience would hide you in feathers and tar. This time you've gone too far. Who do you think you are? Yeah! Who do you think you are? This time you've gone too far. Without me to lead you, nobody would need you. I've got what it takes to make you a star. Please. 
not going to let them just prance out of here like that, are you? I think they were just a little bit upset. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Marty's call to rehearsal at 8 o'clock. We open at 8. 8 a.m. Oh, now wait a minute. How are you going to deal with them at 8 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, yeah, it's bad enough dealing with them now. You're the stage manager. That's your no, problem. Now, wait a second, Mark. Brett, get a grip. Here it's I am. What's up? Ah, uh, Jane, go back to your Pepsi, will ya? Now, are you ready to strike? Yeah, I'm ready to strike after a night like this. I mean the set. Yeah, call it a night. And Brett, could you please get the dorm out of here so I can tell them about opening up in the morning? And Oliver, please make sure the ferns get misted or sprayed or whatever you call it. Just dump some water on them. The set designer's been ragging on me all week about it. Rag, rag, rag! Bitch, bitch, bitch! Last thing I need to worry about now is ferns. Uh, it could be worse, Oliver. Back in 47, we had to feed flies to 50 Venus flytraps for the stage version of the African Queen. All right, let's crew, go. let's get the set struck! Hey. Oh. I think we're gonna have some real problems here. Did you see Rosanna's face? She was furious. I've never seen anyone so angry. It's too close to open night for this much friction. Boy, you're right, Victor. You know, I didn't want to gossip, but I overheard Rosanna. She was talking to the cast and it sounded bad. I don't trust her farther than I can throw her. Now, now, don't jump to conclusions. Dress rehearsals are always tense. You know that old saying, the worse the dress rehearsal goes, the better opening night will be. Oh, I sure hope that you're right. Okay, I need everybody out here. No, everybody. Look, people, I'm sorry I have to pull you back in here in the morning. Yes. You know as well as I do, this show is not ready to go the way it looks right now. Yeah. I guess you felt some tension mounting. Look, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there the way you have. I just wish the cast was as easy to work with as all of you are. Well, I guess that's about it. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. She's thanking us and paying them. Yeah! You know, it's the same old story. They're gone and we're left cleaning up after them. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder why I put up with all this. Me too. But you know what? I'd rather be here backstage than not in the theater at all. So would I. Applause is the only thing the actors understand. The fact is that we're the ones who really give them our hands. We moved the scenery back to rock from the opening night till time we drop. And while they sing and dance, obey. Why we do what we do? 
cut it. No, really, I'll get it. Do you want me to do anything else tonight? Don't worry about it, Oliver. I'll close up. Okay, you take it easy. I gotta sweep in that spot. You might as well just sweep me out of here with the rest of it. Oh, it can't be that bad. You don't know the half of it. Well, the half of it's twice as bad as a quarter of it. Then all of it can't be half as bad as twice as bad. Larry! Enough. Cut it out. You're just trying to cheer me up. I've been in the theater most of my life. You know how many directors I've seen with problems just before opening night? Well, I remember back in 42, when Max von Kleist... Larry! Was... Not now. I was not 32. Larry! Huh? Could you leave me alone for a while? Uh... Okay, Mom. You were right. Start the stuff about me being an accountant. Like my brother Irving. So he makes $50,000 a year. So Irving, please, could you just spare an extra 20 G's? Nothing is seeming quite right And it's almost opening night I'm drowning in debt, I'm starting to sweat It's like a sauna Stars of the show decided to go Yeah, Madonna Times I've cued her online, she's so overrated. Oh, Mimi, I know that I promised you a caddy, but oh, sweetheart, would you settle for a trip to Golita? <laughs> I've given them breaks, I think they're all fakes. I'm so frustrated. I'm starting to go. My death will be slow. I'm Morgan Day.
Clouds for Miss Potato. Where are they? I don't know. Marty, don't you think you were just a little hard on him last night? What would you have done? Well, I would Don't answer that. Take it easy, Marty. They'll be here soon. We're ready to go back here. Yeah. We're ready over here. Ready whenever you are, Marty. Yeah. All we now are some actors. That's right. That's right. That's right. What? Hit, hit the block of delivery truck. It's okay, Larry. It's got white fur on the dash. It's really? It's all right. Bone dice hanging from the mirror. And a bumper sticker that says... Enough! It's mine. <laughs> I'll move it. Take five, everybody. There isn't much we can do to get here. Larry, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, so, what's up between you and me and who? What are you talking about? Michael. Is it that obvious? Mm -hmm. You know, I've never felt like this before. There's something really special about him. Well, has he asked you out yet? No, not yet, but I really want him to. Well, whose fault is that? What's taking so long? If you like him, and he likes you, and go for it. Uh, he does like you, doesn't he? Yes, I think so. But what if it's only my imagination? There's only one way to find out. What's the matter with you? I'm in love. Oh, boy. Y you know, Lori, uh, the one on Drew? You mean that? Tall redhead? Yeah, that's the... Well, no, we don't even have a tall redhead. Y you know, Lori. She's got long brown hair and, <laughs> and pretty eyes and a, a beautiful smile, and, and I think I love her. So what do you need me for? Oh, I know how you feel. I haven't spent my whole life in broomed, you know. You haven't? Oh, no, no, you haven't. Sure, theater is all broomed and costume wraps and rehearsal calls. Sounds to me like you've been finding that out today. Well, then you know how I feel. I sure I do. Well, I remember back in 39, when I took a strong liking to Violet Sullivan. You but see, the told... problem is, she's deaf, and I don't know any sign language. That's no special problem. You know how many people out there, when that love bug bites them, don't know what to say to each other, tripping all over themselves and mumbling a lot of nonsense? Oh, I know. But I have such strong feelings for her. How can I let her know? You're worrying about the wrong thing. Love is stronger than any limitation you and I could think of or dream of. So you go to her. If you love her, she'll know it. <coughs> Understand, Marcus. Understand what? All I understand is that we open tonight. We've got a million problems to solve in the next few hours, and you're bringing the curtain down on us before we even have a chance to open. Are you afraid of the critics, the reviews? Marty, we've talked about that. Besides, a good director never reads the reviews anyway. They're out there, the critics. What are you talking about? It's only nine in the morning. They can't possibly be out there. She did it. She did it. She's behind all this. Who? Rona Barrett? Who? Tell me. For God's sake, Marty, get a grip. <laughs> They're out there with picket posters. They're blocking the ticket window. The critics? The cast is on strike. Cast is on strike? The cast is striking. What are we going to do? Marcus! <laughs> get a grip. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can work out this mess. Let's hear the story. Kathy! Kathy! Get out of here! Quick! Kathy, you'll never guess what I just overheard. What? Tell me what's going on. The cat is on strike. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Get out of here. You say the cat is on strike? Well, that's right. What's going on? What's going on? Listen, everybody. This is serious. I just overheard. 
heard Marty and Mark talking, they said the cast is on strike. Oh, oh not an no, opening no, night. No one's ever just walked out on a show before. Well, back at 35, that's oh, just a bluff. Sure, it's a great way for them to get a little attention. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably sitting out there right now watching us panic over them. No, well, I refuse to give them any more of my attention. Yeah, we got a job to do in a show to open tonight. Well, right. That's right, look, we've wasted enough time already. Let's make sure we're ready to go when they finally stroll around. Right. Right. Yeah. Therese is right! Oh, yeah. They are out there and they are on strike. Oh. Let's out in front of the theater now and try and work out some kind of an agreement. Fat chance! Hold your breath, Marty. Is there something you can do out there? What's this? Marty, no a mediator for the Federal Labor Union. Yeah. What are we going to do now? Do we have any choice? Yeah, someone can let the box off us now so we can give out refunds. Oh, refunds? Can't you get some more front money from the producers, Marty? We're already 20 grand over budget. There's got to be something we can do to get them to open the show tonight. If they just hang in there for tonight, we'd make enough money in ticket sales to cover their back pay. Marty? What about asking some of your friends? What, what friends? friends? I don't have any of those kind of friends left. Oh, great. Well, if you can't get your hands on some cash quick, then I suppose you're going to have to make the mental adjustment. They're not coming back. Oh. Oh. Damn them, it's really happening. Well, you know, I really can't blame them that much for walking you know, out. What? We haven't been paid in nearly two months. Well, oh. what about us? Yeah, what about us? We haven't been paid either. That's yeah. right. Pay? No pay. I'd never resort to walking out on a show. Yeah. Right, Oz. Right. We're here because we want to be here. Yeah, why well, can't they just stick it out like us? Do they think they're the only ones suffering? Yeah, you know, yeah. the thing that really bothers me is we've worked just as long and hard as they have. Yeah. 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 That shows they've got no consideration for anyone but themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. who do they think they are anyway? Right. Well, where did they leave us? With that cast, this show should have been called Turkeys on Ice. <laughs> well, Marty, look on the bright side. It isn't a total loss. Considering what you had to work with. Yeah. They never listen to your direction. Besides, they're always late on their cues. Yeah. I could do Rosanna's part inside out. Oh. But now they understand our lingo. What? We say manana and domingo. What? The pretty Spanish pink flamingo. What? In all ways, you're too enticed. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, you know, any one of us could do any part in this show. In our sleep. Oh, yeah. You know, right. we could pull this show off ourselves. Give it half a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. How about if I give you a whole chance? Well, uh, you just said you knew the lines as well as they did, didn't you? Yeah. Steve, Steve, you've been on crew your entire life. Can the crew pull this off? Yeah. You guys are the only ones that can save this show. The only ones. Let's do it. It's a great way to show those. Blaming flamingos 
We don't even need them. Don't yeah, you know, yeah. it's about time somebody pushed the down button on their elevator shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, don't remember this ever happening before. Oh. Oh. Did you plug the generator back in last night after rehearsal? Oh, no. Oh, Jay. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't think we've got flamingos on ice anymore. We've got Swan Lake. Oh. oh. Jay. Plug it in. Marty, it takes 24 hours to refreeze that ice pack. Right. Would you consider renaming the show Unmelted Pot? Oh. All right, everybody. We have nine hours to pull this show together. I want to see you all back here in 15 minutes so I can decide who is going to do what. We are going to need a new cast. Marcus, Hi. Oliver, Hi. let's go downstairs and check out this mess.
You're brushing up those vocal cords for an audition? Why shouldn't I? I can still sing and dance, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I think I can. I mean, no one's given me a chance to stuff my stuff in 20 years. I never said you couldn't. Well, aren't you going to try out for a part? I'm sure that I'll be typecast in the romantic lead. <laughs> right, Larry, listen. Are you getting caught up in this strike business? I don't believe in it myself, but uh, I can't help but take sides with the crew. Now, there's no one to happen back in 43. Yeah, I Why? guess it's a sign of the time. But you know, we had a lot more dedication than that when we were hoofing it. Now, not only that, it was a real team effort. And a heck of a lot more just dedicated to everyone's job. That's right. Now, I think this cast is just spoiled. They don't know what the word work really means. Yeah, we used to have to do it all. Build sets, sew costumes, strike the set. You name it, we did it. And then we had to go out and perform. But it didn't seem like a lot of hard work. the show. Boy, are they going to be surprised. No, 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 no. Don't count your flamingos before they're hatched. <laughs> Remember, not everyone can be in the show, you know. Sorry, Kate. She's yeah. right. Some of us are going to have to work on the tape. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, here comes Martin. Oh, 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 Relax. Have a seat. What's that? together. So remember, whether you get a role or not, you are all important to the success of this show on and off stage. And in my opinion, that is the only thing that's going to keep this show from laying an egg. Prove it. That's what I needed to hear. Now, when I'm through with casting, I'd like to go down and see Irene about getting fit for a costume. Here is what we will need. Singers. Oh. Dancers. Oh, yeah. Dancers. Chorus people. Oh, yeah. Two people for the romantic lead. Oh, good to see ya. Oh. Somebody for the 
tropical tango scene. Uh, Steve, you can do that. But, yeah, but, but are you sure I can help? Steve, I wouldn't have chosen you otherwise. Now go down and see Irene about getting fit for a costume. Go, 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 Kathy Spang, I would like you as the female lead in the Fairyland number. Go, go. I'd like you as the maid of honor in the wedding scene. You will look fantastic in that costume. Ah! Oh, Marty, Marty! Dad. Oh, the rest of you. The rest of you will be singers, dancers, and share responsibility of tech. Oh, no. Let's go! Come on, let's see these moves. Smile, 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 smile. Come on. But, Marty. What about Rosanna's role? I've been saving that for you. Me? But you realize the set isn't exactly acceptable, and I'm not much of a dancer. You think Rosanna can dance? What? Look, as far as the set goes, we'll deal with that. It'll just have to be adapted. <laughs> Teresa, I know you can do it. Will you help me out? Marty, I'd love to. Fantastic. OK, now. The house opens at 7.30. You have until then to learn your lines. Okay. Go, go. Marcus, Marcus, I need you out here. Quickly, quickly. What do you do when you have a show called Flamingos on Ice? You have a pond for an ice set. So how do we choreograph the skating scenes without ice? I don't Back know. Back in 46, Larry, at the Palladium, we had Esther Williams doing a water skiing scene <laughs> in a giant fish tank <laughs> with dolphins. She retired when she should have. <laughs> Get the choreographer out here. The choreographer is on strike too. Oh, what? Excuse me. What? Excuse me. What? But I think I have a solution to your problem with the ice. You know of a way to turn 22,000 gallons of water into ice in six hours? Let's just think this through. Just exactly what do you need the ice for? Well, other than the fact that the show is called Flamingos on Ice. The choreography is designed to flow on the ice. If we don't do something fast, this whole production's going to be put on ice. Oh, all those skaters do is glide on the ice. But I can make this baby glide just as smooth and flowing as if I were a skater myself. Marty, you have something better than flamingos on ice. You have. Flamingos on wheels. Oh, God. What next? Think about it. Flamingos on wheels? I wonder if the mill got started this way. <laughs> Flamingos on wheels. Could be worse. At least I have my health. <laughs>
Ich muss sagen, oh. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. But there isn't something I want to tell you, right? I really don't know how to say it. science. Can you help me? Sure. I can see why you'd want to now that you and Laura be working together. <laughs> That's the only reason why I want to learn sign language. Well, it's just that I feel so inadequate trying to communicate with her. Oh, she's so beautiful when she signs. I feel like I know exactly what she's saying, even if I don't know exactly what the signs mean. Well, I've got a great one to start with. Romeo and Juliet, and, and, and they were sweethearts. Is it sweethearts? Sweethearts. Sweethearts. Oh, damn. Like oh, OK, great. OK. Yeah. No. Oh, dirt. Dirt. We're playing on the playground. And it's dirt. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, is it acting on the stage? On the stage? The stage? Stage. I like that one, Frank. Oh, I love it. A funny looking beard and glasses and yells a lot. Uh, uh, no. <coughs> oh, Marty! It must be Marty, the director. Is it director? Yeah. Director? Yeah. Director. Oh, small out. Oh, okay, great, great. Okay. No, no. Oh, blind! It's blind, yeah. It's blind like. No? Okay. You're blind, and you turn on the lights. Oh, lights, 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 lights. Oh, this is What's going on here? Oh, Victor and Grant are showing me some signs. Want to learn something? I guess with all the talking, I wouldn't hurt to have another way of saying things. Yeah, it'd be great to have more people to sign with around here. OK, guess who I'm supposed to be, Larry? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. OK, this, this is sweetheart, like this here. This hands like that? Yeah, that's pretty good. And this down here, this is the stage, like this. Yeah, that, that's all right. And this up here, this is lights, like this. You got that here. OK, Larry, keep practicing. We have to go get finished with the wedding scene. Yeah, keep practicing those signs, Larry. You never know when they'll come in handy. Yeah, I'll keep practicing. Is this the Flamingos and Ice production? Well, they duck soup. <laughs> right. Look, I got this special living package here for uh, Marty Ross. Could you sign for it? Here, 28. I said, could you sign for it? Thanks, Marty. 
Get ready. 
for the tropical tango scene. Oh, yeah. Let's high, yes. Okay, okay. Hey, Marty, keep moving. Hey, look. If the crew really is going to go through with this, then I will help. Besides, they'll never learn to dance this in time. All right. Fine. You want to help? Yeah. Start with the Fairyland number. It needs lots of work. Great. Now, who I have to work with? The quartet's in the rehearsal hall right now. Kathy Spang will be your female lead. As far as Richard's part goes, I don't know what we're going to do with well, that. I got an idea. When can I see the number? Well, can you give me a few minutes? A few. Thanks. Go. Go. Okay, we should be able to do this. Shall we admissions all tuned up here? Oh, yes, we're doing well, aren't we? Hey, wait a second. Can I see that guitar compared to some low-light, sleazy bar scum in the town last weekend? What were you doing? Well, the lighting's looking good. Okay. Interpreters. Interpreters ready? Ready up here! Can we go ready now? You are, Marty. Okay. Tropical Tango scene, Q47. Go! What is going on back there? How am I supposed to know what color it is? It doesn't say blue on the handle. Forget it. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Let's try it again. Costume. I I can't do this! Steve, this is your big scene. I thought you wanted a chance like this. I I I just can't do it. Look, Steve, if I gotta do this fruity number, you do too. Oh god. Look, Steve, don't give them the satisfaction of thinking they were right about you guys not being able to do the show. Marty, could you let me take over here, please? Give me five minutes, all right? All right. Go step up, amigo! <laughs> Look, Steve, there's nothing to be afraid of. Relax. Get a grip. I was afraid something like this would happen. It's not like I'm new here, but the feeling I have now is like something I never thought before. And her eyes have at last beneath the bright light, just be alone, and there's no place to hide. My heart is being dust. I must reach in myself, the me I know that's very deep inside. So it makes me wonder, why am I afraid? I might make a blunder alone here on this stage. I cannot catch my breath. All of my lips are tight. And so I've heard they call the stage front. OK, we'll take a break. Just for a second, five hours left. We have no time to waste. I know this may sound silly. I've been here all my life. My chance is here before me. So what's with all the fright? Think back to the times when you were in the wings, listening to your mom and dad act and dance and sing. Well, I should feel at home, and that's for certain that my time's been spent behind the sets and drops. Can you see the crowd? They're standing on their feet. Kid, they're gonna love ya. Get rid of oh, that meat. Oh.
I know you've got it in you. You've been raised on the stage. You're as much a trooper as your folk were. There would have been prophecy out on the stage. I know it's a risk for you, but the curtain's been a security blanket for too long. You're not alone. We're all here with you. Once you hear the applause, all those fears go away. It's like magic. You've got to leave me. You can show them what it sounds like, can't you? Show them. Show them. Shelly, can you give me a beat about like this? But I'm. Oh, <laughs> 
on a satin pillow, floating breezes, floating breezes, floating breezes. Let's just move along. Okay. Move along. Keep going. God. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do a wedding? Oh. <laughs> Keep it going. Can we start now? Okay. Wedding scene. Roll it.
It's too bad Dad isn't here to see me. I remember when my performing arts teacher told me I couldn't participate in anything except mine. I can't wait to get out there and just knock them dead.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the premiere of Flamingos on Ice. I'd like to apologize for some of the last minute changes in the program that we weren't able to uh, fix at the last minute here. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. What do 
did you think of the show tonight? Well, as much as I hate to admit it, you guys did a really great job. Well, I think that Michael and Lori had a whole new dimension to love scenes. She's very convincing. Well, what about you, Teresa? You were great. Hey, Steve, was it as rough as you thought it was going to be? Well, it wasn't so bad. Having you, you guys back in to back me up. Wait a minute, Kathy, you were hot in that fairyland. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys as much as you pose a threat to our jobs. I just wanted you all to know that I thought you did a really great job. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, He's right. You guys really pulled together to make it work. Like we can all learn something from that. Sit down, Val. Stop it, Betty. Well, well, I've got to hand it to you. You guys did a great job on tech. Thank you. Sorry about flying the palm trees in the middle of the love scene. We didn't even notice. We noticed. You did a great job of bad living in scene four. I couldn't even find the dimmer. Don't worry about it. Yeah, remember, we've been there. We know what it's like. Yeah. And now we know what it's like, too. Yeah, it's so sad to you, Marty. I'd like my old job back. I've had enough yeah, of this hard Yeah, me too. I'd like to get back to something I can do right again. What's that? Marty, I'd like to stay on crew if it's all right with you. Good decision. How about you, Rosanna? Oh, no, no. My place is on the stage. But I'm sure you'll be real happy going where you're going. Really? Well, I'll be joining you. I have been there. Being on stage is darn exciting. But home for me is, and always will be, backstage. Okay. Me too. All right. Hey, Marty. I wouldn't mind being an understudy. That'd be great, Victor. Teresa, I'd like you and Kathy and Michael and Lori to consider joining the cast. <gasps> of relinquishing my role. Don't get your feathers ruffled, Rosanna. Nobody said anything about taking over your role. Oh, but there are going to be some changes made. <laughs> what kind of changes? I saw some special touches tonight that really added a lot to the show, and we're going to use them tomorrow. Which brings me to a couple of announcements. First, there's a matter of back pay. I Later, Rose. When we get home, in addition, I've gained a new respect for my technical staff. From now on, this production company has a new policy. Crew members and interpreters will be paid well for the work yeah. they do. And in close, you'll find a bonus for your performance tonight. Oh, I don't know. I remember back in 49, when they took the old set. Okay, folks, we have a new show to open. We have a new cast and a new crew. Therefore, I'll see you all back here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah!